There's a few pigeons and a creepy door. How you doing, guys? All right, I've been training them secretly. That's why I've been gone. They are now all ultra attack pigeons. Strap little bombs onto them, and the bombs are actually filled with love. They go and attack and spread their love all over. That's what I've been training them to do. See, they're like, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Don't know where to go from there. All right, pigeons. How you doing? Look at that guy. He's a good-looking dark birdie there. Hit him with it. Get him some seed. Come on, guys. Come on down. Oh, yeah. Spending some ground time with the pigeons. Going to start counting. 10, 20, yep, 30 pigeons. Yep, it's about right. Oh, what's up, guys? So, uh, pretty busy with family lately. Last weekend had family over. It's good times. Oh, Oh man, that was a mid-air pigeon collision. What's up, guys? Yeah. So I actually having the pigeons show up a ton. Summer's been pretty good for the pigeons, but I haven't been able to film most of it because, uh, you know, life. But I'm not going anywhere. Finally, I feel like I can do a video and have some time, and I don't have other priorities. Just these little pidgeys. And I've had a bunch of videos to release as a compilation kind of deal, but, uh, yeah, I just haven't done it. It's not pigeon-related as much as it's goose or duck-related. Taking Michelle down to the park in the mornings. There's geese ducks, a lake. It's nice. Ooh, look at that big dude. Is she is she gonna let you, dude, or no? No? Maybe later. Just keep trying, buddy. Don't give up. These dark guys here are really nice. Yesterday, there was just three of them here. It's probably one, two, and three. And they were just... I don't know. Looking good, I should say. Here you go. I will admit, last time I went to the store to get some pigeon food, it wasn't the premium. Because it was gone. So there's so much seed here left, they're like, ah, uh, we'll get it. But it's not the good stuff. It's still good, though. So the other day, I had my door open. It's been really hot out here every day. There was a good group of pigeons, about the same as now. And my cat, Charlie. Little punk. He came running out at full speed. We're hanging with the pigeons. And he tries to get one. Normally, he just hangs out right over there and just chills. Nope. He didn't get any. He was way too slow. The pigeons are way too smart for that. But he tried. I had to sit down for some therapy time with the pigeons and be like, look, look, I'm sorry that happened. It won't do it again. Charlie's a good dude, but every now and then, you know, he's a cat, so he tries to eat you. My apologies. As you can see, the pigeons forgave me. Charlie, they said, no, that's going to take a while. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen, but that's the goal. You can't just sit here with a boring, just blah, blah pigeon video. 
Even though I woke up from a nap not long ago and my mind is kind of groggy still, which is why the uh, crap is spewing out of my mouth. Let's bring them on in. Let's bring them on in. George, he's still here. He's over there. Mr. Beautiful, he still shows up. If we're lucky, he'll drop in in the next two minutes before I go back inside, probably. Yeah, look at this fresh pile, guys. Fresh pile. Oh, you just landed on that other pigeon. You're original feather neck, aren't you? Look at him. Spotty little head. Another little spotty little head. You're actually a really good looking bird. So update. Mr. Banded. He uh, he stuck around for a couple weeks and I haven't seen him for at least two weeks now. Uh, no, well a week and a half. Yeah, we'll go with a week and a half. And I actually did contact the American Pigeon Racing Union. And they got back to me saying, uh, here's your contact. And the person told me, well, uh, if you can capture the bird, give me a call. If not, there's not much I can do. And obviously I did not capture the bird because, well, in my mind, if it's with the wild street pigeons, it might as well be a wild street pigeon. If it wants to go home, it can find its home. Ooh pigeons over there are coming over here sweet got some extra drop-ins huh guys add to the pile well oh, look at this guy he's a good-looking bird you really are don't worry there's no pigeon trapping here there's a pigeon trap free channel I just sit here and talk about boring pigeon stuff and we all get to love these cuddly, cute little pigeons who've been trained how to drop bombs of love. AKA, they go around and poop on cars. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. All oh, the crows just showed up. They're like, hey, hey, hey. There's some important stuff going on in aisle three. Meanwhile, the crows sneak in and steal all the food. Ooh, man, we got a good display going on over there. She's got some good concrete stomping going on. Yeah, big old puffy neck. He's looking good. I don't know how that female is not so enticed immediately. His dance is one of the finest I've seen. Come on, let's get that tail drag. Oh, there it is. That was a good tail drag. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Love is in the air. Oh, now we got a, another dude twirling here. He doesn't know which female to pick. I had his attention. He's like, were, were you a challenger? And I'm back over here. These guys are sneaking in. The cleanup crew. All right, I just realized we're going on nine minutes of me sitting here with the pigeons, so uh, I will free up some more of your YouTube day to go watch uh, other things such as crocodile dancing and uh, how to make moonshine. I'm going to leave you guys with a good old uh, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. And I wish you all the best. Hopefully no pigeons drop any love bombs on you or your car. Because if you do, hit the showers. Have a great day. Bye.